And welcome back to the vlog. Check out this thing. This is probably my most unique shed of all time. This is an access to your shed off of uh, Hawaii. This is the base of it right here. It's like the burr and the thing just like came out in all sorts of directions. So really cool, total keeper. Anyway, today's vlog is not about shed hunting. Today's vlog is about everything that I keep in this bag right here. This is my emergency kit. This goes with me everywhere I go, whether that be day trips or multi-day trips. So let's unzip it and see what's in here. All right, first up, this is my satellite texting device. This is called a Zolio. 2A satellite texting device. Allows me to send check-in messages to set people. Allows me to send custom messages to anybody when I sync it with my iPhone. It's also got an SOS feature. It uses the Iridium satellite network. This thing is super reliable. It's also a lot cheaper than some of the competitors, such as InReach. One of the most important things, goes with me everywhere. I have this in my pocket, I have this in my emergency kit, I have it stowed away in a few different places inside my backpack. Toilet paper. Right here I've got about 20 feet of paracord. Backup battery for my headlamp. The headlamp I'm running is the Phoenix HL60R. It's the best headlamp ever made. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. This is a backup headlamp. This is a Petzl E Plus Light. This thing weighs maybe two ounces. And we've got some quick clot clotting sponge. This is for when it hits the fan. Say you slice yourself open with a knife or a grizzly bear like eats out a chunk of your leg. Pull this guy out. You shove this clotting sponge right onto whatever the wound is. And then you take this guy, which is just a compression wrap, and you wrap it around it. This is gonna help stop bleeding fast. Probably save your life, so never had to use it. But this is a great thing to have in your kit. Pepto-Bismol because being sick in the backcountry sucks. Got a bunch of 200 milligram ibuprofen, a couple band-aids. This is a Leatherman Squirt, just a little tiny multi-tool. Probably the smallest one that Leatherman makes. It's got pliers, knife, etc. I use this a lot for screwing on base plates and whatnot on my camera gear. There's actually been a hunt or two where a knife has been forgotten and we've had to use this little guy to either cape out or debone or whatever an animal, so it's good to have a little multi-tool. A whistle, got a bunch of lime green duct tape. Use this for attaching tags to antlers. I also use duct tape kind of like as moleskin, so I rarely have foot problems, but if I ever get a big blister on my heel, I can actually put this tape over the blister and it's gonna kind of act as moleskin. Hard one uses for duct tape. Got some pink flagging tape. I've got a little uh, super slow, a 32 gigabyte SD card. It's only happened once, but there was one time where I forgot to put an SD card in my camera and I went out to do a photo shoot and I didn't have an SD card. I use this guy as backup. These right here are Katadyne MicroPure tablets. They're water purification tablets. It takes, they say about two hours to effectively treat your water. Uh, in most instances, 15 minutes with this stuff will do your water wonders. It doesn't taste great though. So if you do get these, you might consider throwing in something like Crystal Light um, with your water to cover up the flavor. This is the knife that I run. This is a Outdoor Edge Razor Light EDC. Replaceable blade, knife, extremely sharp. What I like about this over something such as the Havilon is it's reinforced back here. It's a little bit bigger, and so you can you can put a lot of pressure on this, on this knife and on this blade and it won't break. And then I've got four replacement blades. I can usually get through an entire elk with three blades. Sometimes four if I'm cleaning up the skull just because you're touching bone a lot. This is just a little tiny Allen wrench that goes with some of my camera gear and base plates. Got two ways to start a fire. I've got the classic matches here and then I've got a Bic lighter. Pretty much every time I go out in the woods, I've got at least three Bic lighters with me. I've got one in my emergency kit, one in my backpack, and one in my vinyl harness. So it's always good to be able to start a fire. Building the fire when it's super duper wet outside can be a royal pain. And so these little fire starter cubes from Wet Fire are incredible. They burn super duper hot. You just, you literally just light the packaging on fire and this thing will burn for a couple minutes. So I always pack a bunch of these. And lastly, a little emergency bivy. This is an SOL emergency bivy. I think this thing weighs three ounces and it fits in this tiny little bag here. I've never had to use this for life-saving reasons, but there has been times where I've been super duper wet or my sleeping bag got really wet. I put this on the outside of my sleeping bag or I just slept inside of this and I stayed shockingly warm 
It's also a nice thing to have if you're out glassing on a really windy, snowy slope. You can just climb inside this guy and sit there for hours and just wait for a deer and elk to walk by. And lastly, this is the bag that I put everything in. They don't make this anymore, but this is basically a military Ziploc. It's like reinforced all over. I've used, I've tried Ziplocs before. Problem with regular Ziplocs is they tend to break and shred. So I'd probably just go to your local sporting goods store and see if you can find just kind of like a little, a little gear organizing bag. Ideally with a clear window, you can see in and kind of see some of your gear. That's gonna be stronger than a regular Ziploc bag. Put everything back inside the emergency kit. I'm just gonna wait here quick. Helping it out a little bit, but basically 25 ounces, so not even quite two pounds. So that's just a quick little run through of everything that I bring in my emergency kit. It's a really pared down system. I think a lot of people might prefer to take more things. I'd love to hear what everyone else uh, brings in their emergency kit. You can share some ideas below in the comments. So, uh, but that's a wrap on this vlog. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. That'd help me out a ton. We'll see you in the next one.